I pulled my back. Ask me how. <laughs> how did you? <laughs> you no, dropped no. something. Guess, guess, guess. Uh, you sneezed. No, man. I yawned. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even kidding. It's not even a joke. I yawned and I pulled my back. You gotta strengthen that court. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just I can't turn this side. I can go like this. This well, side which is part right. of your back? Which part of your back? Did this just well, it's not now? my. It's my. No, this happened oh. before. I. Just can you sit straight and tuck your chin in? <laughs> well, that is. Tilt to the left and tilt to the right. Huh? You know, we're, we're at that age. Chin in, chin in first. You're, you're at oh, that I can't, I can't. You're at that age where anything you do, you got to think of it at least 10 times before you do it. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Including farting. Uh, <laughs> that, that's the trickiest one. <laughs> like, uh, I got a hernia. What did you do? I blocked you. <laughs> <laughs> Who, which, comed- which comedian was it that said? I think it's uh, it was it Louis C.K. He goes, he goes, you get into your forties and then you just shit yourself for no reason. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> There's just no reason. It's just, it's so true, your, your underwear's dirty for no reason. <laughs> it's that threshold, bro. As soon as you 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 approach it or you pass it, you're like, I need to fart. Do I take a risk or do I just sit on the toilet seat just to, just to play it safe? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Just Us Dads. Thank you again for tuning in to another dad conversation. Uh, again, if it's your first time here, head on over to YouTube, subscribe to our channel and to all our other social media platforms and our audio platforms as well. Uh, reminding you guys that Monday, uh, the blogs are back like we had announced last episode. So Monday, keep an eye on that at noon. We're releasing it. So head on over to our website, justusdads.ca. Uh, and um, yeah, read up on that blog. It's going to be interesting. It's, uh, it's a series of things that we took away from 2020 and how we look forward to 2021. Um, George and Chris are both here. Gentlemen, how are you? Not too good, man. Hang on, man. You got, you got pain in the neck? Yeah, I pulled my back. Ask me how. <laughs> how did you? <laughs> he no, dropped no. something. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you sneezed. No, man. I yawned. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even kidding. It's not even a joke. I yawned and I pulled my back. You got to strengthen that court. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, I can't turn this side. I can go like this. this well, side which part right. of your back? Which part of your back? Did this just well, it's not now? my, it's my, no, this happened uh, before. I, but, can you sit straight and tuck your chin in? <laughs> well, that is. Tilt to the left and tilt to the right. Huh? You know, we're, we're at that age. Chin in, chin in first. You're, you're at oh, that I can't, age, I can't. You're at that age where anything you do, you got to think of it at least 10 times before you do it. You yeah. know what I mean? Including farting. Uh, <laughs> that, that's the trickiest one. <laughs> like, I, I, I got a hernia. What did you do? I blocked you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who, which, com- uh, which comedian was it that said, I think it's, uh, it was it Louis C.K. <laughs> he goes, he goes, you get into your 40s and then you just shit yourself for no reason. <laughs> 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 There's just no reason. It's just it's so true. Your, your underwear's dirty for no reason. It's that threshold, bro. As soon as you 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 approach it or you pass it, you're like, uh, I need to fart. Do I take a risk or do I just sit on the toilet seat just to, just to play it safe? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm about God. to turn forty two. I haven't shot myself yet, so. Well, All right, good man. That's, that's good man. That's good news. Yeah. Uh, how are you guys? How are you guys surviving this whole uh, curfew thing, man? How how crazy mm-hmm. is this shit, guys? Uh, I'm not happy about it. Yeah, there's a lot of angst. And look, I'm not a very uh, stressful or anxious person, but I'll tell you something, man. This I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go on the side that's not political. How it affects me personally. Yeah, yeah. Evening and night is when I like to walk for an exercise. I right. can't do that anymore because my right. kids are still up prior to that. So that's mm. I can't walk for exercise anymore because I have mm. to work in the day. It, it, that, it, it, that's one thing that's really frustrating. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things that are frustrating, man. Like, look, we, we work in the evenings at night. Uh, again, we, we, we're allowed to be out because we're an essential service. So there is no problem. If we get stopped, I have no problem, okay? Problem you have is, documentation? We have. We, we made letters for our employees. I mean, I don't know if we need it, but whatever. I mean, we can always tell them that it's our company. I mean, our name is everywhere. But that's not the problem. The problem is that we pick up our kids in the evening to go back home. And like today... 
uh, we picked them up at 7.45, 7.50. And I'm fucking gunning it, bro, to make it home at 8. Yes. Because I don't mind being stopped because I, I can justify myself. But what the hell are the kids doing in the backseat? You understand what I'm saying? And you don't know because it, it's so like um, – uh, it, it was left so like flu. Like these are the these are the recommendations. These are the rules, but the, the the specific questions we have no answers to them. And it's basically left to the judgment of the police officer that's going to stop you. So what if I tell them, look, I'm an essential service. I work. I picked up my kids because I have to have them uh, um, uh, babysat, and I'm headed home. So what do you want me to do exactly? You know, what I mean, that's how that's the reality. Is that guy going to understand that or just say, oh, sorry, dude, it's 8.05, here's the ticket? You might, you might just get the ticket and have to con- contest it. Uh, I, I think everything is going to be contested. Uh, did you guys hear that story of the nurse? She was going to work. She gets stopped by the cops. It's obviously at night. She's going to her night shift. The guy pulls her, pulls her over. She's wearing her scrubs, everything. And he stops and she tells him, I'm a nurse. She, so, she shows him her ID letters i i you know all everything that you know required and the guy's like okay yeah that's fine but he still gave her a ticket because she hadn't paid i don't know her registration or insurance or whatever something like dude the lady spends what 20 hours working like the last thing on her mind is taking care of paying whatever she had to fucking pay you know what i mean and he and he gave her a ticket for that he goes look okay look obviously yeah, i can understand and he and even thanked her for her service like what's wrong with this guy man you understand? Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? I don't understand. They're on a, they're on a bit of a trip. They're ticketing uh, homeless people in Montreal. Yeah, sure, they're going to make that money. Where, no, but not only that. Like, where do you want them to go, man? Everything is over capacity. Everyone is saying that there's uh, a limited number of beds for them to go indoors. Okay, like, they're homeless. Where do you also, want them to go? Uh, up until uh, mid to late November, they were on Notre Dame Street, tent. Yeah. Tents, just tents, 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 hundreds and hundreds of tents. I used yeah, to drive yeah, by and they dismantled, yeah, they dismantled that whole thing. But like you said, too, on top of it, <laughs> don't expect them to pay it. You know what I mean? It's like, What's the point? Not, that's save, the pa- save the paper. Don't write them any tickets. Not, not the homeless. What the, what's wrong with these people, man? So I don't know, man. It's created. And, and again, I'm not, I'm not a super. Uh, you guys know me. I don't stress. I'm not an anxious person. But today, I'm freaking gunning it and you have my wife she thinks it's a joke she was filming she was filming like a what do you call it a, a hyperspeed a, a hyperlapse on the phone and she's like Ooh, i'm gonna put a post about it it's 7 58 we're cutting it close and then at some point she's like wait wait wait, hold on don't move i'm like what do you mean don't move man wait, wait, wait. So, uh, hold on I, there's a stop there. she's like okay wait don't move seconds i'm like are you kidding me now i'm gonna wait for you to get your story done <laughs> we got two minutes to get home <laughs> panicking <laughs> Uh, three three thousand dollar fine. <laughs> We're uh, four in the car, man. That's like close to five grand. Yeah. Oh man. So imagine, imagine the people that actually do have anxiety and stress. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy. I, I I don't know, man. Aside from the fact that we just waved goodbye to our individual rights, that 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 is the other thing that bothers me. Uh, I'm not gonna comment on this one, guys, because I, I, I'm too agitated, and I think it's, it, it might turn into a, a rant. Yeah, uh, you know how I feel. Rant. You guys know. You guys know how I. No, feel. go because I, I didn't want to. So you should. No, no, no. I can't. I can't. I can't. Because That's why it's I like, only mentioned how it affected me personally. <laughs> it, it, for me, it's not personal. It's it's not even the curfew. First of all, I don't see how somebody other than my dad can give me a curfew. That's one. <laughs> when you're eight. 22 when years I'm, ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Number two, when I'm eight. Yeah, or, or 16. I'll give him 16. Yeah. Even though 17, no, not really. So that's one. Number two is... First time in my life I've had a curfew, honestly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm and literally, literally. Like George said, it's like, say bye to your... You, well, it's, it's a line that you don't step on. It's a move you don't make. We've seen these from juntas and totalitarian governments, whether they come from the right or the left, that's who applies curfews, not democracies. That's number one. That's number two, sorry. Well, they and have number three? In, they have been implemented here in the past, but it was a War Measures Act, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's different. That's, yeah. it, it's not a good idea. It's not a good, there's, there's other solutions before you get there. And number three, man, I, I don't know how this is going to help COVID. 
Yeah, especially like the logic is a problem. No, but too. especially when our health director himself says, "Yeah, no, there's no science to back it up," <laughs> but we're still gonna do it. No, but it's like you know what? You, I understand you, you can't have parties. All right, go go find where the parties are, break the parties, and give tickets. But nobody can walk, or will you walk your dog only a kilometer just because you have to make a stupid measure? You have to just explain yourself. Uh, look, I don't, I don't want to get there. Curfew is a bad idea. Curfew is a bad idea for what it represents, and curfew is a bad idea because you've crossed the line, and now, like George said before, it's the government flexing its muscles. And no. Yeah. No, you know, no. There's other ways. There's, a, there's other ways. And you know what, what's crazy about it is that the people that are on, on the one side, that are not afraid, want to rebel against that. And it's like, no, who are you to tell me? And then you have the people that are very scared are rationalizing. They're like, yeah, yeah, maybe it's a good idea because I'm scared. And it's like, man, it's, it's nothing to do with COVID here. And you know, and already civilization is, is in danger when those that don't know how to follow or obey are given the right to command. It's almost as if it's like they're put in a situation where it doesn't really apply to them in a way. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just find it, whatever. It's, 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 it's weird. Mixed feelings on it. Like if no, they're, not, they're, they're not mixed, they're pretty clear. Man. <laughs> no, they're mixed feelings because look, I, I, it, it's politically, you're, you, politically, I'll understand. Okay, it's a bad idea, but I, I understand what you want to do. But for COVID, yeah. like if, if that is your premise, COVID really, like after eight, like the guy like, who, who walks or jogs at night is the problem. It's like really, and, and it's like you're saying this with a straight face. COVID just got nocturnal, man. It's like that. It's no, it most dangerous crazy. at night. Be careful. It's like okay, to, to people mask, that are alone, you know. No, but think about it. If the mask works, okay, the mask works, or it doesn't, we don't know. Let's say the science is split. The mask doesn't work. Okay, distancing. Well, that may work, it may not. Combined with a mask, it should work. Okay, let's say those two don't work. Lockdown. Okay, now we have mask, we have distancing, and lockdown. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, curfew, distancing, lockdown, mask. Whoa, what's next? It's not that, Chris. The thing that is nonsensical to me is that, okay, you are forbidding me to being outside between 8 p.m. and 5 in the morning. I get that. I, I don't agree with it. That's the measure. Okay, but from 5 in the morning until 8 p.m., I can do whatever the fuck I want. So I can go anywhere. Like, if you're going to limit the people at night... When in general, people are still home anyway because everything is closed to begin with. How about no, controlling I, people during the I, day? I, no, but I, under, I understand that like the that, night is like they that. don't want parties. They don't want get-togethers. They don't want yeah, people I, going yeah, in. Yeah. I understand that. That's fine. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. That's a very, very, very small population. That's a very small percentage of the population. Yeah. And you know what? You cannot tell people they can't walk in the street. You know what? If you walk in the street, right, you're never going to come into like, a meter from somebody. Naturally, people don't don't cluster up in in, 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 in you know what I mean in yeah. In, yeah. in herds. So it's fine. Yeah. And a kilometer for your dog? Like what? Really? You have to be counting now. <laughs> you get, you get I don't know. It's, it's weird. Yeah. I, I don't get. I'm trying to. I'm trying to ration. I'm trying to like understand why. And you know what? I find there's like I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, I don't know. The other part I don't like is that there's I don't know, triple the cops on the street now. Well, yeah, because you got to enforce it. Once you come up with a stupid triple rule, you got to force cops it. Are hired. And when you hire, you know what happens when you hire triple the cops? You, you hire two times too many idiots because you have to fill the slots. That's what happens. Yeah, and there's nothing more I, stupid and then enforcing a law that you don't understand because we don't understand it. You can't say they understand it, but they have to enforce it. So but now you have a, a stupid person what, enforcing something. But this is a question I had, and I, and I even tweeted about it. Uh, and I, and I, I tagged uh, oh, the, the, the sorry, Quebec part, the Barreau de Quebec. Like, I, I legitimately want an answer. Does our Charter of Rights and Freedoms supersede this government regulation? Like, what comes, what, what takes... Uh, Force majeure. Yeah. Well, no, but it, it's not because you haven't implemented the... the Pandemic the is Force Act, majeure. So it's basically just a recommendation by the government. You cannot be out after 8 p.m. So let's say I am and I get a ticket or whatever. I get arrested or whatever. Do my rights protected by our charter of rights and freedoms come before that that's what i want to know like, i don't know i don't know the subject i it's like i i think there is something protecting you because the curfew is not really a law right it's kind of a regulation so it doesn't yeah. fall into a law 
So even the way you enforce it is different and you do have rights. And for the arrest, like you can say, what are you arresting me for? And was this for? And uh, anyways, there is a loop. There is a loophole and there is a way around it. <coughs> but that's not the point. The point is that Quebec government did that. See, like Ontario, uh, Ontario imposed um, uh, curfew. a curfew, but... But a full lockdown as well. But it's it, but it's loose, you know. There's no police. Like nobody's gonna come looking for you. Uh, they leave it to the judgment of the people. Well, know? yeah, that's that's that that's the right but way yeah, to do it. Yeah, but again, you have 12 million people. Are you gonna trust that that they're gonna? But the government is not government anybody's is the... daddy. That's yeah. that's the difference. The government is not that. It 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 represents people. It can give recommendations. It's not there to tell people what to do. It doesn't have that power. It thinks it does. Yeah. And when it abuses it, it abuses that power. You can give recommendations and say, guys, like, you know what? We recommend you guys stay. Uh, don't go out after eight. Don't do the gatherings. Don't do the parties. Let's, do, let's work all together. But a curfew and you get a ticket if you don't obey? Yeah. That's where it gets crazy. Disobedience to your government for walking out? No, no I have Or going a kilometer them. and a half on your walking. What, what if I'm out and I get the ticket? That means I could stay out all night now because I already got the ticket. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, no? I don't know. It's all uh, yeah. <laughs> no, What are you going to do, man? Oh, sorry, dude. I already have a ticket. Don't worry. I have a ticket. I'm... I was on my way home from this ticket. So. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you know I mean? Imagine and, the fucking guy gives you a second one. And, and what's even crazier is like, I've spoken to a few people, mostly on the phone, and they're making me look like I'm the crazy one for questioning the ethics of this. And that perplexes me even more. You're, you're, not, like, the only, really? you're, not, you're not You're not the only one that's questioning this. Because don't forget, there's a lot of regions outside of Quebec that have no cases, that are doing very well. I mean, you know, obviously in terms of population, it's much less than mm-hmm, the city. Mm-hmm. So oh. they're not red zones, you know what I mean? And the curfew applies to all of the province. And they came out like, dude, what are you talking about? It's like, <laughs> we have no cases here. We've been very careful. Everybody's doing their thing. I mean, our population isn't obviously as uh, as as numerous as anywhere else. That's... Is the is the curfew necessary in these regions? Like I'm talking yeah, about yeah. of Quebec, yeah. and you know, know. And the question we don't want to ask is that for some reason, and I hope I'm wrong, but let's say for some reason numbers somehow go up. You have to ask yourself, what's next? Well, look. The numbers have gone down, actually. No, but no, but let, I'm 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 making it very hypothetical yeah. because yeah. they've crossed the line. So what's next? Yeah. No, no, exactly. What's you know, what, what's the next measure? Like, how draconian are you going to go after that? I don't think you can. <laughs> well, well, surprised. can you? What, what's well, next? What's after this? Bring in the army. I can name you some countries. Yeah. You Bring in the should. army. Because they're really panicking right now. The hospitals that are a really critical level where they're afraid that um, the government might impose uh, this protocol that exists on uh, prioritizing uh, care for ICU treatment. Uh, and if that goes into effect, then the hospital, they're going to have to make a difficult decision about who they offer the care to. The person that we think might not make it anyway or the person that has a better chance at life. You understand? Yeah. Already they've reduced services, they've reduced surgeries, they've, they, they've really cut down on these things so they can make sure that they have the space. Uh, but the numbers are climbing, man. Like, I mean, yeah. they're, they're on that verge and everyone is kind of afraid. So, and again, the government saying, no, no, we're never going to do that. But at the same time, there was a video that, came, that was circulating a couple of days ago on the internet that I saw back in March when, you know, the initial lockdown was implemented, they were asking them about curfew. And both our health uh, uh, director and the premier, they're like, no, 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 the curfew, this is, this is, uh, this is ridiculous. We're not at war. Uh, you know, we're, it's Quebec. I mean, these are extreme. And, and yet it happened. You know what I mean? And yet it happened. Yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to our topic. Uh, that, was just the, that, that was just the intro uh, about how we feel. But, uh-huh. um, yeah, look, and we're not the only ones, guys. I, I, I mean, uh, I talk to people, too, and everyone is a little concerned and uh, – but what's more concerning is the elephant in the room that no one's talking about, and it's how this exposed our weak medical system as well. Nobody seems to be talking about that. Well, the medical system has been exposed, I think, since the very beginning. Uh, even the, the long-term care facilities, everyone kind of saw that, oh, shit, this is how bad the situation is. Uh, now we're seeing it with the schools, with the ventilation system. It's becoming a thing now. The government doesn't want to accept that as, a, as an issue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Who knows? Mm-hmm. Maybe in a couple months they will. Because the other provinces have uh, 
uh, have recognized it. Not in Quebec. So who knows? We'll wait to see what happens. Uh, but yeah, the hospitals, you're right. Uh, even though like in terms of, you know, or organizationally, like they're on top of things. You know, I mean, they know what they're doing. It's just that the capacity they have is very limited. Um, so uh, and, and the other problem is that there's a lot of medical personnel that isn't there. Either they left because they couldn't handle it or some of them are home because uh, they're infected by COVID and they have to kind of quarantine. So there's thousands of people missing from our hospitals. Yeah. They're short staff. They're short staff. So, you know, and that indirectly also affects the vaccination. Everyone's complaining on how slow it's going. You know, we've received over 80,000 doses and they've only administered over 30,000. It's like, dude, what's going on here? You know, the excuse like, oh, we don't have enough people to, to, to administer them. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Anyway. Yeah, we're not going to fall into the political thing. Let's uh, let's talk about our families. Let's talk about our kids because this is what the show is all about. Um, I want to talk about today uh, our kids and how to deal with certain things that could be a little bit difficult sometimes. Uh, and that's their attitude, uh, their disobedience, uh, and, uh, and how we deal with that kind of thing. Because... You know, I want mm. from one point of view, you, you, you're thinking to yourself, it's a four-year-old, it's a five-year-old, she doesn't understand, it's a fake. It's an eleven-year-old. Mm. Or yeah, mm. but that's the thing. That, that, <laughs> see, that's because my kids are younger They're than. They're so innocent all the time. But that's the thing, because my kids are younger than yours, and we're in the phase right now where it's so frustrating. And you're like, oh, God, how do I correct this shit, man? And then you're thinking, maybe it's a phase. Yeah. Maybe let me just be the kind dad and the kind mom and eventually uh, there's like that approach where i don't know we're still building trust and everything and it's gonna naturally kind of fade away but then you're thinking because you know we've all seen kids later you know we've been to school you've you've we've we've had friends the evolution of things yeah we've had you know classmates that were like dude fucking attitude man calm it bring it down you know what i mean Uh, you know these kids exist out there and uh, you're like is this the beginning (laughs) like am i breeding that kind of individual and it's it it, it, it's it's uh it's a little you know uh, it, it perplexes you you know Oh yeah, oh, it, it's definitely part of everyday life. That's, everyday. that's for sure. I was I was just about to say exactly. <laughs> it's everyday. It's, it's like a, it's a constant, constant until yeah, yeah. they leave your house. It's constantly working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, like uh, okay, for me, for me, let me just explain where I'm at. I'm at the situation where attitude comes in two two kind of formats. The first format is the attitude of like, you know, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm, start, I'm starting to be cool and I could talk softer and I could do this and I could answer what I want. And then there's the second format, which is your attitude towards solving problems. Oh, the whether like, whether you're, you're optimist. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm dealing with both. I'm always, I'm always trying to coach the latter because the first one just annoys me. <laughs> so I, I don't know how to deal with the first one. I'm still testing. Uh, the second one, I know how to deal with it. I tell him, hey, your attitude is very important. It's the most important word in the English dictionary. You know what I mean? You got to get educated. You know, you always have to tackle problems with a good attitude. It's very, very important. You know, uh, the first one, man, I just, I just want to smack him. You, you, like, I, I use intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> He's going, it, it, it works. He's going, the old classic. It works. No, but, but I, don't, I don't stick to it. See, back when my father's day was like, Total intimidation, but stay out of his face for a couple of days before you know, so it doesn't escalate. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't go there. I, I show, you know, there's, there's a way. I show a way. I show a way out. I, I guide through that door as well. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't just push and push and push. Guys, man, look, my, my my daughter, like last week, I, I had to punish her because it was like, you know, what I mean, it, who who, it, cr- who cried more? What do you mean last week you had to punish her? I punished four times a day. <laughs> I think it was twice <laughs> last <Yeah>. hour. <laughs> what, do, what do you mean last we're, week? We're, what is that? Like, honestly, honestly, we're very like kind of relaxed. Like, I mean, we're like, okay, do whatever you want. But at some point when it has to, like today, the it, house is going back to bite you. You're, you're going to pay for it when they're 16, George. Oh, but it's, look, back to bite you. Back. it's interesting that you bring it up because I'm going to get that. But see, like today, the house was a mess. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm not going to fucking pick this house up. man. Honestly, I can't. Remember that story I said in the other episode where they come down in the room and they just grab shit? I don't know, for some reason. I don't know if they heard the episode. I don't know what. It, it just, 
somehow happened that everything fucking left this bedroom and ended up uh, in the living room upstairs, in the kitchen, like in the dining room. It was just everywhere. So I'm like, this morning, I'm like, okay, we're going to pick up the house, man. You know what I mean? And, we, and it was like, oh, uh, why? But why? I'm like, just do it. Let's go. You know, and I, I, and I had to do it so I can show them. And they, finally, we picked up the house. It took like 40 minutes, but whatever, it was done. But last week. That's it? No, 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 no. This was happened today. Just why we got there. Because last week. 40 minutes to convince them or 40 minutes to get the job done? No, no, 40 minutes to convince and to start doing everything. You know what I mean? Okay. So the whole thing probably took like over an hour. I don't know. At the end, I was just, I was standing in the middle. I was looking. I was telling my wife, babe, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. What, what, what do I do? What, what do I pick up? Please. And like she, she got up and helped. Uh, guys, I, I was like, I was just looking around. Me. I'm like, what do I pick up? Where do I, like, what do I do? <laughs> I felt like I'm looking. You, you, you know you do at that you, point. You, you, you need to get a, a, big, and... a big Ikea bag. <laughs> And start putting things in and doing different, going back for another load when you empty that one. Just go so back. La- so last week, it was something similar to that. I asked her to do something, and it just escalated. Just the attitude. Nah, nah, nah. And talking back to me, man. And I'm like, what the hell is happening here, man? I never Ooh. talked back to my parents. And if I did, I got smacked well, in the head. You know what I mean? There you go. There was a threat. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Here's, here's the thing. And to get to what Chris was saying, I am, I'm worried that and especially because the girls if i start demonstrating from now a person that is always angry and that is always yelling and that is always forcibly telling them what to do and do this nah, 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 i don't want that image that character to become kind of um uh, stapled in their mind so that when they eventually meet someone or a husband or whatever that that uh, i'm not abusive but that quote unquote anger and abusive kind of environment is normal like i don't want that i want them to think that that's not what my dad was like why the hell are you talking to me like that this is not right like i want him to be able to kind of distinguish that and to draw the line because i I, i'm just afraid that if that is the constant in the back of their mind they're gonna be like oh yeah okay it's normal to get yelled at and that that i think is maybe but 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 it's the future it's two different issues, man, because I think what you're alluding to is more disobedience. It's like, let's say they don't listen because when they don't, when, when somebody disobeys, they're doing either one or the other, they're either going to not listen to you by disrespecting you or disrupting something. Yeah. Right. So disobedience is something different. Attitude is something, something else. Attitude is not, you're not, not obeying. It's not like you're not taking orders or following instruction is that it's the way you look at something. And your attitude could be very, very shitty and it could like really jeopardize things you want to do, right? So I just find there are two different things. So the disobedience, I think, is one. The disobedience is like, you know what? I think people need to learn how to follow in order to lead. You don't have leaders that lead that have never followed. A good leader is somebody that knows how to, understands how to follow because he's learned how to take instruction and now knows how to do it. But... Just to, to, to go back to what you're saying, it's like, it's the problem is disobeying when you disrespect. Right. Because you could, you could not do something because let's say you ask your, your daughter or your son to you do something. Your toys and she doesn't do it. Yeah. Or, or it's like, tell her to do something. You, yeah. That's right. Exactly. Because if, if she says, uh, I, I, I don't know how to do it. If I don't know how to do it, that's technical. You could show her how. She doesn't know. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a real concern. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what you're asking me. But if she says... I don't want to do it. Well, no, it's different. Now it's like, I don't want to do it. What is it? Is it because I feel strongly enough not to do it? Or because I don't care to do it? Am I stubborn? Am I lazy? I don't want to do it just to spite you. Right? So I think it, it, it's, it, it's nice to have that. I like that. When I, with, with Yerasimo, I like that sometimes. I question it. It's like, what, where is it coming from? But that's disobedience, right? That's them not listening. I find the attitude is what we have to correct for. Yeah. Disobedience is fine because you know what? They don't listen in class. They disrupt the class. That's bad. They get kicked out. So they need to learn it at home or else they're going to go do it in class. And that's how the world turns, right? If, you, if you're like bothering people, they tell you to stop. You're bothering class. You got to leave. You're in church and you talk too loud. You're disrespecting. So that, I think that's okay. But the attitude is where it's tricky. Yeah. And you're going to lose opportunities because of a bad attitude. That's it. That's it. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna spoil good moments of their own. Forget your, yeah. your, 
And that's yeah, what's really important. That is, that is one that, uh, yeah, it affects way more. You're right. Because usually, usually defiance is, you know, I, I, I don't want to do it. I don't, because I'm lazy. Or, you know, they won't say they're lazy. Or, I don't know how, because they're actually lazy. They say they don't know how. Or I don't like this. What is, like, yeah. Yeah. It's like words matter, right? Like, I don't, I won't, right? I can't. It, it, they all mean different things. So uh, the, 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 the disobedience I, I'm, I'm more comfortable with. I know how to deal with it. The attitude on, on optimistic, positive, learn how to tackle issues, have a good attitude, all that stuff, I'm good. But when it comes to time where it's like, hey, yo, <laughs> that, oof, oof. I just don't know. Or they start that one, I, smart. I, yeah, I need to learn. That one I need to learn. That one I need to, uh, I need some tips. I don't know if you guys have any tips. Does it happen often? No, it doesn't happen often, man, but it's... Flex and fill up your t-shirt. <laughs> Remind them whose arms are bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, but you know what? This is one of those where the word, it's almost the same meaning when you're an adult. Mm-hmm. Like your, your, your shitty attitude, if you're young, let's say you bring it with you when you're an adult. Yeah. It, it will still cause the same stress. It will still cause the same jeopardizing the good opportunities. It would still make you live a shittier life if your attitude is shit. Yeah. So that's why it's an important one. You know what I mean? And you see it. You, don't tell me you don't see people that have shitty attitudes. Of course. It's man. like you, you, can't control, you can't control the problem, but you control the attitude. So control the attitude. And you're telling somebody that, and it's like, what are you talking about? You know? So they're, they're, I want to make sure they get that early. Because, you know, as frustrating as it is to, to see the attitude at this age, you know how much more frustrating it is when they're like in their 20s and 30s because you know you, you like you said you, you've experienced different things different situations where with adults with 20 30 year olds and yeah. the attitude and you want to throw a desk at them you're like what the hell just yeah. happened here yeah, it's like what how yeah. are you like this you know what i mean and so uh, you know there, there's this and you're not born with it you pick it up right your attitude is 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 almost like it's your experience, it's your education, it's uh, like the environment, like you'll pick it up. I find because kids tend to copy a lot. So if somehow one, let's say get an example. Okay, right, I have my son. And somehow he picks up a stronger attitude, a more dominant attitude. He's going to pick it up. He's going to pick it up and bring it home and test it. Yeah. Because that was a dominant attitude. Right. So it's environment, it's, it's experiences, and it's education. They, they, they get impressed by the impact of the, you know where they picked it up from. That's right. Yeah. They get really impressed by oh look at the look at the power in this guy's hands. He's able to manipulate the situation just by being aloof and, and cold and an asshole. You know, let me try. Yeah, yeah. And and it's very and it's very important, man. I'm telling you, like most books you read on the development, personal development, growth, and stuff like that, leadership attitude is like a chapter. Yeah. It's a chapter because it's the most important thing. It's, it's how you're going to tackle the world. You know, and, and uh, Dennis Waitley famously said, how do you say it? He said, attitude is either the lock on or the key to your door of success. He's right. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the good. lens, right? It's, yeah, it's the lens. It's the perspective. Yeah. It's the perspective. And, I, you know, sometimes you'll, I'll tell him little things, but he doesn't get them. But I know they're lodged in the back. I know, they, I know, I know they, they, they go park themselves in the back of his brain, and he'll bring it out when he needs to. But I need tips on, um, on uh, this. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> hey, bro. Bruh. Now, guys, it's not bro. It's bro. No. B- he, said, B- he, said, he started saying B-R-A-H. B-R-U-H. Oh, man. Bruh. 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 How maybe, you should, uh, maybe you should go pick a fist fight in the street <laughs> to show him how fucked up you can really get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Without intimidating him, show him how fucked up you can get. Just show him. That's true, man. Maybe, maybe that, that's it. That's Don't it, you that's flex it. and peel back the t-shirt. It's short. Uh, what, what, about, what about the little one? <laughs> oh, the little, the little one is still, she's still in La La Land. The attitude is like almost like, like playful. You know, yeah. she's four. It's like she'll test little things, and it's like, "No, you do it." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you, you, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with Maria. I'm not teaching mode. Like I'm father. I love you no matter what you do, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically spoil myself because you're still four. But let me ask you something: the 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 age gap that they have. Does she look at the old one and uh, and mimic stuff, or she understands that no, he's too everything. old? And- everything. Yeah, everything. everything, every everything, everything. She will master what he didn't. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, 
he, he will be singing a song, like a, a rap song. He's rapping, like pretty fast, pretty, pretty hard words. <laughs> she listens to it three, four times. She got it. Yeah. And she'll do the same thing, you know? She'll, it's like, she's like, it's, it's like his little tail. It's, it's like the little tail, man. <laughs> she, wants, she wants to be where he is. She wants to do what he does. She wants to talk like he does. It's just at that point, it's like, and it's funny. You know why? Because whenever he does something, I want to correct or encourage or congratulate. But when she does it, I'm not there yet. Like, she yeah. won't understand. You so, know what I mean? So for you, it's much more crucial because of the age that Gerasimo is at, where mm. he can understand that him giving the example is so much more important than my eldest giving the example to the little one. She doesn't understand. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's, he's like the and second we're parent. To, and we try, try to tell her, we're like, listen, man, the, your little sister, she looks up to you. She Everything you do, she will want to do it. So if mm. we want her to be a good girl, you have to be a good girl because that's how you're going to show her and we're going to have to tell so, her. So you're putting all the pressure okay, on her. Okay, but mm-hmm. okay, about five minutes later, it's like I never spoke to her. <laughs> it's like we didn't have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I try not to do that too much. <laughs> I, I try not to do that too much. I, I, I don't want to I don't want to put all the onus on him. You know what I mean? I don't to feel that he's always being pressured and he's going to miss out on his. Yeah, no, that's uh, a, it's a good salvage point. the other guy. You know. Yeah, but her. Because man. I've seen I've seen it. But see the the boys the boys there's like this competition with the girls there's this mom and baby kind of thing. She's like, oh, she's my little baby. She's my like they mm. always play like that, you know. So it's for me maybe it makes a lot more sense to 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 tell her that look, you know, you 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 have to take care of your sister, and she's like your little baby sister, and this, and she accepts it. She's like, oh, okay, 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 okay. But again, it's like it goes in and out. It's like, <laughs> it's like we, we didn't speak yeah, about yeah. it. You know? Yeah, but you, I mean, you're telling her she's she's you're like she's she's like what are you telling her? She's she's like what her daughter? No, 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 no. I'm saying she's like she, her second mom, no. our baby. It's our baby. Yeah, it's like our little baby, and she, she, you know, they play a lot. You know, she. So and, and your oldest one's head is like, oh, I could tell her what to do. You know, yeah. maybe there is that because they, they do. Sometimes they, like you see them sneaking around and she kind of is like, okay, no, Eliana. Okay, no, do this, no, do this. Do this. And I'm like, what is she doing, man? You know what I mean? Yeah. The, other one, uh, the, the, the last couple of like this whole year, maybe this was going to be how she naturally evolved. We don't know. But the fact that we've been together so much now because of COVID, mm. You know, like maybe it has impacted her. I'm not saying it's bad. You know what I mean? It's just that they're always together and she's always yeah. seeing what she's doing. And, mm. you know, the, the, you know the, the, the level of influence, I think, is much greater than mm. maybe it would have been if we weren't stuck at home all the time, right? If, uh, if she was going to school and the other one was at school and, you know? Yeah, yeah. So but I, the, yeah. the I, dynamic is different. It's, it's yeah. Yeah, actually, one of, the, one of the new things that I'm noticing now is that I think the jealousy is back a little bit. And I'll tell you why. The old one because, or the little one? No, no, the old one. Really? Because the little one looks up to him so much. She, she wants to be just like him. The older one understands that. But at the same time, I do more correcting, more disciplining with, with, with the older one because it's time to do it. So he feels and I let, more thi- I, I, I let more things slide with the little one. So it's almost like a scoreboard. And he counts. Like, he, like he'll remind me at the end of the day. It was like, you know what? Uh, it was like, uh, you told me not to do this 10 times and you only told her to stop once. So it, 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 he's still young enough to, to, to think scoreboards matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he doesn't understand that I'm teaching you a lesson because you can get the lesson. And no matter how I say it to her, she won't get it yet. Yeah. You know, and, and that's a hard, that, that's where the, the, there's a mixed yeah. dynamic there a little bit, you know? Yeah, you could be as logical as you want to him. It's how he, he felt because of it. Yeah, 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 and uh, you know he 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 has the right to feel that way, yeah. and and I I'm, I say to myself I'm like okay look I'll try I'll try, and then I'll sometimes I'll think okay you know what for this one I'm gonna discipline both, and then one will start crying because it's like what are you doing daddy you, you never do this <laughs> yeah I'm like, like, you'll start cr- yeah it's like well, what 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 happened they went, they, what they happened? went after your guilt <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely oh, manipulators man kids oh yeah yeah me. see like now geniuses geniuses like, lately lately what i've noticed and i told my wife the other day they're just not conscious of the little one has mm-hmm. uh realized that if she yells she gets instant attention you know so they're playing even if even if the old one is playing with something she's gonna go get it because she wants to play it and the old one's like no what are you doing it's me and the other one automatically ah 
So yeah. you, we're not watching them. So I'm hearing the little one screaming. I'm like, okay, what did you do to the other one? And she didn't do anything, the poor kid. You know what I mean? So the little one now has understood, you know, it's like, it's like this calculation. I'm going to yell and I'll mm. get what I want, you know? And, and it's yeah. funny because I was mentioning that to my wife the other day. And I'm like, okay, we got to be careful with this one because yeah. she's, a little, she's a little, you know, she's, she's getting intelligent. Great point. Great point. And I noticed that with Yerasimo too, because he has a reservoir. Kids have a reservoir. They need attention. Yeah. They need 100% attention. So if you don't give it to him, like you basically have to fill the reservoir with attention. And the thing is, this is the trick. If you give them attention and it's like 50%, you still have 50% to go. And at that point, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. They need to get it. And that's when they're going to turn bad to get the attention. Right. You know, and it's like, it's, I'm conscious of it, but I miss it sometimes just because you're living life. You're not constantly thinking. Yeah. You're not constantly analyzing your kids. Like, what, are, what do I need to do? No one's perfect, right? You're, you're, you're being a parent. You're making mistakes. You're making about 15 mistakes a day. Like, you know, you know when you realize that, that moment where your kids aren't like the little baby anymore. Like, I remember the little one. She would always listen to us. I was like, okay, come here. She would come. Oh, uh, help me do this. And she would do it. Like, and we would test. She's like, okay, take this spoon and go give it to mama. Or get, and she would do it. And she was like, yeah, because everybody was like clapping and everyone were happy about, for, for her. Now it, it, doesn't work, it doesn't work so much anymore. You know what I mean? And she's yeah, going to yeah, take yeah. a mat. Like, she, we're still potty training her. And last time she peed uh, on the floor. And I'm like, well, well, why'd you pee on the floor? Don't, don't, don't you remember? We have to run to the bathroom. Do, you know? And you can't, you can't yell at them. They can't feel like, oh, I'm going to get punished. I don't want them to be afraid. I mean, okay, you peed on your pants. It doesn't matter, whatever. So, you know, we're still, we're still in the process. But the other day, she's like, I'm like, what'd you do that? She goes, because I like it. <laughs> it's like this thing now. I like it. I'm like, why, why, why are you coming to sleep on my bed? Because I like it. Uh -huh. you know? Why did you throw that on your sister's head? Because I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And you still don't yell. No, I, no. There's certain things that I I, I have to hold myself back. When it comes to potty training, you can't. I can't yell because because I don't want her to associate something negative with me pooping in my pants or peeing. Like, like I don't want her to get that stress. That oh my god, I peed in my pants. My dad is gonna yell at me. Like, but that's what works. It works. <laughs> I'm telling you, it works. <laughs> Try <laughs> testing <laughs> it. True. No, no, I can't. No, no, but. Right. Like there's a reward in a takeaway system. Right? Like see, even yeah. now, like now the old one is learning piano, okay, and she she loves it. First of all, I think she's very musically oriented, uh, and she's very good, you know, and she learns very quick, and she has a good ear. Um, but for some reason, she she just doesn't want to practice. She's like, no, I don't want to practice, and I can't use piano as a pan uh, as a punishment. I can't be like, well, if you're mm -hmm. not going to go, I'm going to take away your toy because I don't want her to associate practicing to like a negative thing. You know what I mean? So that's a tricky one for me too there. I'm like, okay, how do I do this now, man? You know what I mean? Let her, yeah. let her, let her play for fun. No, no, she does. If it's for fun, she's going to go. She's going to play anything. So let her, let her do that till she's about so, eight years old. But, you know, now we're learning. She's learning the notes. Like she's, you know, she's learning all the, you know, the, she's getting her hand. And she's pretty good, you know? But when it comes down to okay, let's do the, the let's uh, let's do the, the the song, you know? Okay, one, two, three, four, do do re, re you know, like whatever. So it's like I don't want, and it's like oh my god, I want to, yeah. I want to ram her through. It, it's yeah. very normal though, man, because that's but the I skill part. I can't get that's... mad because I I don't want her to associate negative things to music because I, I know she likes it, and I I, I I would love for her to learn, you know. It's a tough one. That was a tough one because I went through it with the drums. It's a tough one. It's a tough one because you know where you're going, and you know what? If you don't, That'd be fun, George. But if exactly. if you're not I able want, to put I in the discipline, yeah, she won't learn. No, but she's no, like, uh, she's a little young. She's only six. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying that eventually, somehow, at some point, she's gonna have to put in the hours, no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So we do little by little. Like I know, like her teacher said, look, uh, we'll we'll do thirty minutes with him, because now it's on Zoom and stuff. So 30 minutes, like, she starts getting agitated, and I know, like, it's done. It's over. But that's with him. With me, max 10 minutes. Max. Max. <laughs> Maybe if I'm lucky, I can push there, it. To there's no shame in front of you. That's right. You know what I mean? So I'm like, you know what? If that's what it is, that's what it is, man. I don't care. You know? So uh, I, can't, I can't push her more. You know? Like, and I can't tell her, you're going to sit or else I'm going to punish yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I can't you do that. And I don't you think shouldn't. I should. Yeah. yeah. That was the old school. 
Hobby, that would be hobbies old are, are supposed to be fun. Man. Yeah, exactly. Supposed to love and them, I know that so. she enjoys it, and it's whatever. It's a process, and she's learned a lot, actually. She's advanced. The, commi- the commitment level will come when she realizes that she loves it. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But the little one starting to give attitude, man, is it, 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 like you said, Chris, it's like cute. You're like, you can't get mad at it. You know what yeah, I mean? Not yet. Not yet. It's like, not because I want <laughs> but it's, You have to be careful because if you have to be careful not to let it be too cute with the little one yeah. because the old one's going to say, okay, I'll do it because it's cute. For, it's going to be cute. Yeah, for, but you know not only I mean? that. But it's going to make her do it again. But not only that, even the little one, it, it, you know, the, it, it's going to become a habit. You know what I mean? And then it's going to be like, no, this is how it is now. You know, I get their attention and this is what I say. And they're okay because they laugh. Uh, I, I, miss being a f- I miss being fun. I'm such a mean guy. I'm so, I'm so mean with them. <laughs> you so miss mean. being I'm fun? So, yeah, I was, I'm so mean with them. Oh, my God. I feel bad. Oh every, every night I go to bed, I'm, I feel guilty. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. Night. But I'm so mean to them. I mean, I have, but, I have two boys. They're wild, man. Yeah, but you got to balance them. They're, 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 no, no, they're wild. From a jungle, they're wild. <laughs> I'm trying to have some law and order in here. Right? I'm trying to have some peace. <laughs> no, there is. There's fighting, pickering. There's there's con- there's constantly screaming, but but there's. How the many bit- times a day I threaten to take away their desserts? <laughs> I threaten to put them in timeout. And then the occasional, I'll, I'll tell them I'm gonna make your head spin, and they don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I miss I miss being where you are, George. <laughs> yeah. I miss that. Yeah, I'm, I'm mean. I'm mean. I'm wait, so George. Funny. Wait, wait. There's Aren't another level. Anyway. There's another level. No, but I know. But at least you. At least at that level, there's the conversation side where it's it's really yeah, it's you can true. get into, it, into into concepts and ideas that that we're not touch we're not touchable before. Now, yeah, now you, yeah, can, no. you can you can you you know you can really get get them with words somehow. Really, you just drop a word. You're like, you know, yeah, but can, you get that yeah. reaction. Yeah, but do you think it's going to be easy for you to contrast? Because Nothing's easy. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is like in your in situ, in situ, based on what you're saying in your situation where like you're like, oh, there's threatening them almost every day. And then suddenly when they reach that issue, I'm like, okay, let's have a conversation. <laughs> because I, I didn't. You got you to gotta smooth it in. Hold on. You got to smooth it in. I, I, I told you before, I didn't take any of that away. Yeah. yeah. No, I yeah. didn't take any of that away. It's just no, it's, that uh, I don't, I, like, I mean, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll threaten and I'll discipline and all that, but I'm not going to, Keep that attitude till we all go to sleep. You know, it's like, no, no we're back to normal. We, we got over it. You did your time. You're forgiven. Yeah. Let's move on with our day. Let's be happy again. How, yeah. you guys, how guys, how, um, how is the sharing situation? <laughs> I have boys. It doesn't exist. It's, it's violent. I'm joking. I'm joking. They, they, they have their moments where they're really jealous. And it usually has something to do with their mom. Sharing, sharing time with their mom, something handed over to their mom, somebody helping their mom with something, their mom sitting next to that particular person. All these kind of, this is the most, like the, the real focal point of their jealousy is their mom. And they're both attached. Like they want her attention more than anything. Uh, it, they compete for it. Yeah, they always compete. And then when she leaves the house and it's just the three boys, we're all, we're all, we're all, dudes, we're all best friends. We're all high fiving each other. You want, you want some of my sandwich, Alex? Sure, Philip. I'll have some of your sandwich. We're sharing everything. The best yeah. friends. And, but when she's there, all three of you compete for her. <laughs> well, me, I mean, I'm like, okay, enjoy her, and I leave. <laughs> go, go no, but you, you, you want your time alone. Sometimes you want to say something, and they won't let you. You know, there's, oh, yeah. uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. You're, you're always competing right. for, for, for the mom's attention, man. Yeah, she's yeah, the focal right. point. She's the epicenter of the fa- of, of, of the house. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Us man, the sharing is uh, I don't know. Like uh, I don't know. you have to observe it when you guys are not there. Well, in most cases, they're, look, they're 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 both very independent. Especially the old one. I mean, from a young age, I remember she she didn't even want us holding her. She always wanted to go and do stuff, and she still has that kind of uh, attitude, which I like. I don't care. But what do you mean by sharing? like toys and stuff and it's always like eh, no nah, but it's mine and eh. like there's always oh, okay. yeah is it really sharing that man I don't, well i don't know man it's That's more not, jealousy i don't know if it's jealousy it's just that you know how many horses and doggies and little kitties we have in the house why do you want that one? Fuck, get the other one. There's like another 50. Get the other one, man. Why do you want the one that she's holding right now? What what difference does it make? The other one wants it, so it makes me want it more. You, yeah, that's what I'm asking you because 
with us now it's look obviously there's very little toys or things in common right true yeah yeah right they, they play with different toys but I, w- I was never a big proponent of sharing like I, I i i never told my kid you always have to share yeah. i'm okay with my kid not sharing i think some kids Why? sometimes don't need to share because the forced altruism is not good all the time yeah. but let's say let's say your kid has a toy that he loves and you're inviting people over what i'm going to tell him is that okay look you don't want to share this because maybe you're afraid they're going to break it don't don't show it yeah yeah but i'll never put him in a situation where you're forced to share this the world doesn't work like that the world is transactional and you know what we we want to we want to teach our kids to share but you know what compassion has to come first you can't if you force them to share you're not teaching compassion you're forcing you you're, you're, you know what you're doing them how to be you're spiteful. Building, yeah but i don't know about that spiteful man but it, 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 yeah but isn't it like more linked to like kindness be kind if she wants it okay give oh. it to her play with something else just you know look, don't look, don't, look. don't incite anger and fucking no no yelling. look i'm not a wait let, let me maybe reiterate i'm not a monster sharing is good but there's things that you can do better Like teaching compassion versus sharing for me is better. Trading might be a better idea. Yeah. Create the win-win. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, you have that. I have this. You haven't played with this. You want to swap for a little bit and then we change we again. That. You know, there's more of that. That is more important than, you know, you have to share. Because it, I find it comes from a place where we just say it because we've learned how to say it. And sharing But, is not necessarily caring. No, but I mean, taking not, turns. It's, don't it's, you teach them to take turns with stuff? But that, that's more of, of, of a real life that's, situation. That's what we do. We do is it's like, yeah, okay, when you're done with your turn, let them have it. And you, your, your turn is not going to be too long. And yeah. And then it's like, oh, you have to share. The kid doesn't want to share. Then the parents get involved. It's like, uh, no, you have uh, to us, share. No, don't uh, ask for those. Turns. Us, we have the other situation because there's so much shit lying around all the time. Like one is going to be playing with a toy and the other one is going to notice, obviously. And then when the old one now is going to leave that toy and go play with something else, the little one is going to go grab it because it's free, right? Mm-hmm. And then the old one's like, no, but that's mine. It's like, no, it's not, man. You, you left it. It's gone. You know what I mean? You left it's, it four hours ago. <laughs> He's like, oh, but it's fine. Uh-huh. And vice versa. It happens with the little one too. She's playing with something. She leaves it. The old one goes to get it. And then she's like, oh, no, it's mine. Like, oh, yeah. Kids so, think I, I've me. had a situation like that where they found something after six months. <laughs> he had it, he had it yesterday <laughs> dropped it somewhere hold on he had it yesterday after fighting for six months dropped it somewhere the next day the other guy found it but i found it yesterday <laughs> yeah 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 Oh, yeah so Dropped yeah for 24 hours but he but it was his because he had it yesterday yeah you know, today today uh, while we were picking up all the stuff i told my daughter i go you know how many toys i had i think i had three toys i told her so here's what we're gonna do can you pick three toys she's like no No, we, well, why? Why only three? I'm like, I don't know. That's what I had. You know how lucky you are. Take care of your fucking toys, man. Like, there's shit everywhere. Everywhere, man. It's like, I got I rid of so it. much two weekends ago. I got rid of so much. Man. Some lady came here with a truck, and her truck, she came with an empty truck, and she left with a full truck. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that so great. That so great. Uh, Send the kids to your in-laws. <laughs> Did you no, no. I made them, t- I showed them everything. I'm giving this away. I'm giving that away. Giving that away. Were, they, were they okay with it? At first, no. Then I left them play with it for a while. Then I, then I, the way we had fixed everything, they were able to play with their older kid toys now because everything was set up properly and took out all the all the all the extra garbage. They didn't give a fuck. They were, they were yeah. glad to see them go. No, but you see, that's that's a better concept. Learn how to give. Yeah, learning how to give is a way better concept than learn how to share. It's also learn 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 to to, to like like to, in, to in real life. Things. You don't you don't go in a cafeteria and you have people sharing their food. That doesn't happen in real life. People don't share girlfriends. People don't share. Sharing is something that you don't really do. You do with a family. Yeah. You keep it helps it, you the do parents. It, you, do it in cli- in cli- you do it in close circles. But the world is transactional. No, and, and yeah. you know what? What you were saying before is right. The teaching them... Uh... teaching them empathy and stuff because if they, you share your food if your friend is hungry and he doesn't have any that's yeah. something you can share you know what the, I mean yeah but that's that's compassion empathy that's a feeling <laughs> not during you, COVID <laughs> you want the feeling yeah but during, <laughs> during COVID it's like don't take anything you, the other no, but I was just saying it goes back to your point of being sympathetic yeah 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 Yeah, but it's look. They're gonna they're gonna pick a look. Obviously, like uh, maybe I I I sounded a little too rough, but I, I believe that. I I believe that it's like if if you just teach your kid how to share, you just tell them you gotta share. You're not teaching him anything. 
You're teaching him that he has to, he has to do something to, he to likes. Hate, to hate the person he's forced to share with. You know, and then eventually if he gets the right feeling, which whether it's sympathy, empathy, compassion, once he understands that feeling, then the sharing, now you teach the sharing. Now it's okay. And, you, no and you know what comes with sharing? It comes with making them feel guilty. And that's something people resent too. Yeah. It's all about guilt. You, you can't do that with guilt. Like what guilt is a bad thing. What do you mean yeah. making them feel guilty? Guilty that they're not doing it? Well, everything. Oh, it's your brother. Oh, it's your this. Don't you feel what, what about them? What about, you know what I mean? You can't always, you can't always say, oh, but he's looking at you and he wants it too. Yeah. But you're supposed to be feel bad. Okay, so what am I going to give it to him so I could want it instead? How does that solve it? Yeah, and you have to create win-win, right? That's another thing you read everywhere. It's win-win. But give, I'll give an example. Win-win yeah. win eliminates conflict. Well, you're at the park, right? You it show up and you're, you're, you're playing with your little bucket, your sandbox. You're in the sandbox and your kid's playing with his little bucket and his shovels. And this other kid next to him that's playing with the sand but doesn't have any. Like the, the normal thing to say is like, hey, share your bucket with that kid. So if they decide to play together, that's good. Because now you create an environment where they're playing together. They're not really sharing. They're using one and they're playing together. Sharing would be, here, you use my toolbox and I'll play with the sand. And what you've done is you've created a win-lose. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? So the idea is win-win. And that's more important than just say share. Hey, share this, share that. Mm -hmm. You know? Anyways, whatever. It's like now, now with the, kids, the kids are older, so it's different. Like now it's like now, now you got to learn how to share. Do, do, do your kids take care of their toys? Like they play, they go put them back, everything is in order, or it's just a fucking – like is my house the only one that's like this? Oh. No. George, me, 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 it's clean until I stop yelling about it. No, but I, and I mentioned this last episode. My mother in law's house, it's like they it's grab ridiculous. one toy, they play, they bring it back, they grab the other one. It's always <laughs> why, like, guys, you don't understand. There's, yeah, they're, they're, toys, they're not, they're, they have no shame in front of you. There's toys everywhere, uh, broken things like cut hair from a Barbie, like just cutting hair. Like, at some point, you're walking, there's hair everywhere, like, they cut the yeah. hair, a sock pants uh clothes from another doll uh, there's just everything everything, everything. You, you know why i know that i, I know Shoes, the answer to that. boots the ski pants a hat gloves I i'll tell you why george that's why it's i was very, so very awesome. simple. like i don't know i don't know how to pick this up i, I like and, there's not and really we're all like, guilty we're all guilty of this it's it's one simple reason they fun. have so much they haven't learned how to play with one God. right when you have a let's say you have a doll the yeah. way to play with a doll is to take it to do this, fix it up. You could coach her through it. We do this. It's like clean the hair. Let's change her. Let's put her back. We're done. Let's put it away. That's not how my kids played. My kids, it was like a free for all. They just attacked, right? They dive into the toys. They break things. And then, so they're not really playing with a the toy. They're, they're, they're playing with one, leaving it, going to the next one, leaving. It, it's almost like, like a ADD. Yeah, a rampage, a rampage. Yeah. And that, that's what it is. If you had two toys, you would take your time with the toy. You would get the full experience of the toy and you would respect the toy. Little, little crap like Barbie shoes and purses and like a little cell phone that the Barbie holds. And I'm thinking, <laughs> look, your, your doll doesn't have shoes, man, aren't wait, you? Wait, I got, a, George, I got another one. I got another one. I got another one. <laughs> Do your toys have batteries inside? Oh, yeah. Bro, my toys never seem to have batteries. I don't know. I always, I'm always buying batteries, but there's never any batteries <laughs> in the toys. <laughs> they have. Batteries. I always have dead batteries. <laughs> yeah, I just have dead batteries in the house. That's all I have in this house. And you know dead what? batteries, uh, and there's a million of them. It's yeah. more annoying because when they turn I, on a toy that has maybe not dead, but like dying batteries, like the music doesn't play fully, so it <laughs> it cuts out. It's, it's like worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. going on you're like what the hell is that like get, get it get it get it off oh this they're all the same man it's it, kids are the same man. it's like but I, I, look I, I, the battery thing i don't it's been a while that they've come to me and asked to put batteries which is a good Bro, i i spend as much as i spend on gas on batteries oh man I'm not that bad, but at least uh, forty to sixty dollars a year, at least. Like I'm exaggerating, but yeah, it's a lot. The remote con just 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 Xbox remote controllers. Oh, that yeah. yeah. Oh man, you have to oh, replace man. batteries constantly. They're not chargeable. Doesn't it come with no. a big battery that you put on a dock and it charges? I don't know, man. That's I don't horrible. know. Maybe 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 I, I don't know what's going on. No, there's batteries. Obviously, I, I, maybe we could do that. I'll look into that. 
My brother had it. That's a good a, idea. That's a good idea. But my brother had it. I can't remember if it was an Xbox or a PlayStation. It had like a like one of those uh, big batteries, like a. I'm changing batteries on 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 mouse, on keyboards. On remote controls, okay. on dolls, on yeah. lamps. Because they have to be cordless, fuck. You know? like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. It's just batteries. And, and all the why time. does everything have to take triple A's, man? They cost more. And I don't like them. I hate them. Nobody they, they, them. they cost more. <laughs> no, but guys, admit, admit that when a toy's battery dies and you open that little thing and you look inside, if it's triple A, you're like, ah. Oh. I get disappointed. No, no, you know, you're like, oh, we can't look. The, it's, it's done. It's, I, I, don't, I don't even follow up. I'm like, oh, <laughs> died. It's over. <laughs> you don't have to, to save the AAA. <laughs> to save the pack of Trivacell AAA oh, from Costco. Triple A's, man. It's like, fuck. You don't. I buy them. I buy them. And I can't keep them because they're always gone. Yeah. <laughs> always yeah. gone. Oh, man. I don't know. So yeah, so the sharing thing has now become a little bit more of an issue. The the the, the younger one is getting a little bit older. She wants to take more space. Force them uh, to take turns, George. You know, and and she stops, she's also learning from the old one. Like she's looking at what's happening, and you know, like the the there's more yelling. It's not chaos. Like I mean, I'm over exaggerating. The girls usually it's fine, you know. But uh, don't forget to always think that they're always thinking of maybe they're too young now, George. But give them a couple of years, there's a scoreboard. There's going to be a scoreboard on. They're, think, they're going to be like this, two, yeah, two, yeah. look, two, three, I four. Emma, I, Emma might be there, I think, because she's, she has mentioned it uh, sometimes. You know, She's like, oh, yeah, but her, you don't say anything. And me, like, it's there. I think it's starting. Yeah. Uh, like, she, she, she notices. I mean, she keeps track, you know. But yeah, yeah, she, exactly. So, that's what I'm saying. It's like, when you discipline, you have to keep that in mind or else it's like, then you're going to have to discipline and explain yourself. Just remember, it's up to you to make it be fair, no matter how bad you look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, th- I think I'm pretty fair. That, that, on that, on that. That's, if you stick to that, they won't resolve. Yeah, I, I don't think there's an issue. That's another one. That's another one I'm against. I'm so not fair. I'm fair. Like no. unfair, you're not fair. Well, how are you not fair? Uh, there's also an age gap. I, I, I'm not fair. Like you, I can't treat them fairly. No, you're talking about now. No, no. no. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm a, like when 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 your son was when your daughter's age, you treated him the same way. No. 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 <laughs> well, it's a girl too and a boy. Different. The different. It's a girl and a boy. It's different. They want different needs, different wants. It, it can't be fair. It can't be fair. Oh, I know I, I know it sounds weird, but it can't be. Or, you know what? No, let me rephrase it. I don't make the effort to make sure I'm fair. <laughs> I do. I make I sure do. I'm right. I make sure I do the right thing. I'm, I'm going to tell you because I came from a house with three, three siblings. That stuff comes back. Wherever the parents lack, it's thrown back in their face, guaranteed. Oh, for sure. For sure. But I don't think it's from unfairness. No, no. All the unfairness is always, that's, that scoreboard comes out at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, there's it's there, there's yeah, a final. Okay. There's a bottom line. There's a number. Yeah, like yeah. it's there. <laughs> okay, you you mean treat them <laughs> fair relative to each other? Yes. Yeah, I can't do that. You, why though? Explain it. Because it, it, it's I, different I, things. You know what I mean? Because it's like, not because it's because it's not convenient. No, because it's not the right thing to do in my mind. Like I'll give an example. Like I might punish one by taking my, away you have to understand my my kids are closer in age and they're both boys yeah yeah that's what i'm saying it's like one's so, four and it's a no, girl but, one's but I, 11 and it's a boy yeah but that's what so, George said like put it relative to the age like okay i'll give an example let's say I put, let's, when it was four are you the same with your daughter now that she's she's what she's four now or five four four yeah no i'll give an example let's say i, I need to punish your and i'll take away the video game well if maria does something that's equally bad let's say yeah. like i won't take away her tv yeah but you didn't do it to him when he was four either yeah that's fair you, you took it away from him but you didn't take it away from her yeah but i would he, punish her differently but he doesn't no, but when he was four did you punish him differently or the same? like i'll give an example I'll give an example jo- uh, uh, Yerasimo was never a big sweet eater mm. he doesn't have a sweet tooth right so i never use that as a punishment Maria, it's like I won't give her the cookie because I know that's her weakness. Mm. So it's it's not fair. So I'll punish one and say you're not having a cookie, while the other one's having a cookie. 
Yeah, but you're taking a very specific example. Like, yeah. We're, we're talking about, you know, like everyday stuff. Like, I, don't believe, I don't believe in fairness. I don't believe in equality. I don't believe in fairness. I don't, I don't think you I, – I don't believe in that. If it happens, for kids, it's, you fair, have to. it's fair. For kids, you have to. If it's fair, it's fair. But it's like I'm not – I don't keep a scoreboard. Oh, I did two hours here. And there. No, no, I punished you, here. I punished no, that. No, no, of course. Okay, I understand in the, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you're, you're not thinking, hmm, when Gerasimo was four for a similar situation, I did this, let me do this. Yeah, I don't think like that. No, I and, I don't, and, and I don't think it – because it's, it's relative to the kid. Like you're correcting and disciplining relative to the kid. Not all, relative- I'm say, all I'm saying is that if you're punishing him at this age a certain way and simultaneously her punishing her in a different way because she's that age, is fine. It's fine. They can't be punished the same way. Yeah. Because that's, that's, that, that's not unfair. I'm just saying there's other ways to be unfair as a parent. And, and favoritism and stuff like that is what all they see. All they see what at the end of yeah, the favoritism, yeah, yeah. all they see is favoritism. That's all. That's no, what no. the scoreboard is going to show to them. Yeah, but I don't, no, no, I, I don't favor one over the other. I know that, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying what you're saying is not unfair. It's not unfair what you're saying. They can't know. be punished the same way when they're in different places. Man. No, they can't. And that's, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that that's the unfair. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're calling that fair and I'm calling it unfair. Yeah. But it's probably the same thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But I'm definitely, I don't favor one over the other. But it's totally different. I'm telling you, man. Uh, it, it's, they're different characters, they're different people, and I, I'm going to adjust differently. Nobody matters. Like, what, what I'm trying to say is that if I, example, let's say I spend $5,000 on Erasmus Sports. I'm not going to have to go spend 5000 on Maria just to, to, to give an equilibrium. Okay, I understand the point you're trying to you, you understand? Like, I'm not going to treat them fairly like that. It doesn't mean I favor Gerasimo. It just means this is a passion, and the other one doesn't really have a passion. Yeah. So if, like Gerasimo and I, I, I pay 10 grand for his teeth. Like, I'm not going to try and balance the other 10 so it's like I spend equally on you. Or I'd say she wants to go to school to a private school and it's going to cost me 25 Gs, and Gerasimo doesn't want to. So I'm being unfair in a way. But that's the right decision well, no, not really. relative you're to each other. You're going along with their needs. So. Well, yeah. But by doing that, you're unfair, man. Philosophically well, yeah, speaking, you know, you're unfair. You're being, you know you're what I mean? Rational. Well, no, because you're supporting what both. What would be unfair is if your daughter's teeth would, would be bad and you'd be like, well, pff, I don't care. I gave five grand to that guy. I'm not going to. Bro, that, that, that's not unfair. That's evil. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what it is. It's I'm okay. You know what? Yeah, you know what? As long as you're supporting equally, I'm thinking more equally. There you go. It's, I'm not actually. Yeah, fairness, equality. Yeah, they're, they're 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 different words. But you guys get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It it's, and, and I don't and I don't think it that way. And you so know what? Is if, the, what the thing is, it would be unfair if you committed totally to one and not not to the other. That's yeah. The story. I'll give an example. Like it, it, it happened. It happened this week that we went uh, sliding twice. Let's say last week, and we went skating for Maria. Right. So Maria wanted to go skate, so we skated for Maria. So that's one for Maria and one for the slide. Then Gerasmo just got the sliding. I'm not going to try and balance that equation by saying Friday we're going to do something for Gerasmo. Yeah. I don't think like that. Yeah. So constantly by trying, by thinking I'm making the right decision for every kid, I might be unfair, but I don't mind. You know, like I'm not, like trying to always try to balance the equation. Will will wear me out and will make me make a wrong decision. But imagine, imagine that's how I feel, guys. That's that's how you think. It's, no, no, uh, but imagine you did. Like imagine you had a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Everybody you do, does. You you do. It's it's not about favorite. It's about there's certain things you connect with one more, and there's certain things you connect with one better or differently. Yeah, yeah. And that's not wrong. <coughs> you know what? I, the, 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 one of them I rather watch a movie, and with the other one I rather not. But with one of them, rather go for a walk, and the other one, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the, the activities that we do all together until then, until it becomes a fight. <laughs> it becomes chaos. Yeah. There's always three minutes that are good before it's playing still, a game. It's still, it's still amazing to me. Like every time, you, <laughs> a whole three minutes. <laughs> there's a whole three minutes of awesomeness <laughs> until it turns to shit. Yeah, I, I still find it incredible 
I don't, I don't know, maybe because I don't understand the, 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 the dynamics because I'm not in your shoes, but every time you tell me that the 11-year-old gets into a fight with a four-year-old, for me, it just doesn't, there's something that doesn't compute there. It's like, why? Oh, well, right. for sure. call the cops. You know what I mean? I don't know. For sure, for sure, for sure. It's, well, he, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't do anything to it. No, no. George, it's, it, you know what it is? It's, it's power. <laughs> you, you know how the government put a curfew and it flexed its muscle? Well, the older brother is going to flex its muscle and say, hey, look, I'm bigger, I'm better, I'm faster, I'm quicker. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. I'm living with it. And that's fine. Yeah. That's good. It's fi- you know what? It's, it, it's fine. It, it's like, you know, you know, look, this is what it is, man. Let's say the older one kind of, not bullies, but kind of overtakes or overpowers the little one. There's two lessons there. There's like, okay, you ask me to chill out, calm down. But at the same time, it's like, Maria, it's... Hey, don't, stand don't up to him. Bigger people. Uh, no, no, but it's like, hey, don't be intimidated. Come and talk about, you know? Yeah. There's, there's two lessons. So you can't just be like, hey, like it would be wrong for me to punish Gerasmo every time he tries to intimidate Maria because that's natural. That's what he wants to do. You yeah. know, he's not going to go do it with an older boy. Like, like you're he's going to do it with his sister. It's easy. So you're forcing the other one to step up. You're like, okay, man, okay, well, what are you doing? Stop crying. Do, do, it's both. It's both, yeah. You see, there I'm going to be fair, yeah. <laughs> so it depends there's no formula man no. there's no formula no. and a lot of times I'll, I'll think something is right and my wife will think it's wrong she'll do something that I think is wrong but she'll think it's right and then at th- sometimes we, we compromise and it's like okay let's try it out because we don't know but I do my, my one thing I never does anything wrong <laughs> uh, yeah sure but one thing we do a lot and one thing I do a lot and it's helped is I experiment a lot like I'll ask a lot of questions. Yeah. You know, let me let me know, and, and then it confuses you. Ask them all the time. It's like, well, why are you asking this? <laughs> yeah. But it, it gives him out of his game plan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It gives me information, and then then I know what to do with it. <laughs> well, why did you ask me that? And then I'll hear sometimes that Baba asked me that to his mom. <laughs> why did he ask me that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> for Alex, she has no answer. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Go ask him. I don't know. I don't know. Go ask him. Why did you ask me that? But I'll test him. You know, like I'll catch him in a lie, and 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 I won't say anything until he tells it to me, or he, like he confesses. I'll catch him doing something wrong, and I'll bring it in a way in a situation where it's like, hey, or is he gonna flag that it's wrong? And then it's like, hey, yeah, good, you flagged it. It's wrong, but you did the same, you know. And then it's like, oh yeah. So I'm doing a lot of these things, man. But parenting, like, you're, getting, like a you're getting a lot act. of shit wrong, man. You're it's a, a juggling of... act. It's a juggling yeah, man, act. of course. I told you, 15 act. mistakes a day, minimum. Yeah. So like you're, you're juggling with a with a with a, go- with, a, with a with a bowling pin, baseball, yeah. and, and and a flaming torch and a sword. Everything, everything. You try not to burn or cut yourself, man. <laughs> uh, uh, All right, guys. On that, we're gonna end it. Um, any thoughts of the day? Uh, what are we taking away from this, guys? I think the juggling part was actually the 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 the, 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 the yeah that, yeah exactly how George ended it's a juggling it. Yeah. Juggling. <laughs> juggling with a chainsaw, a bowling pin, of a flame. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And, and attitude is important. Yeah, attitude. Yeah, very important. important one. Very important word in the dictionary. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. Go and subscribe, like us uh, on all the platforms, and. Um, Again, just to remind you, there's a blog coming out on Monday, so go check that out. And if you want, subscribe on our website. You can get on um, uh, on our website and sign up. Uh, I don't know what it's called there. Uh, so you can get all the notifications whenever something goes up on the website. Um, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you all. Yeah, man. And just one more thing, guys. Buy a fucking T-shirt, man. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a fucking T-shirt. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. I'm like, what is he talking about? Oh, oh, oh. Karma. See what you get. Karma. What you get. <laughs> All right. We guys. should open with that. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Um.